Praise God. Welcome everyone to this prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this moment, the gift of life. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let's give glory to God for the daily graces that we receive on our personal life and our families. God's graces. Without this grace, we make mistakes and errors in life. So let us be grateful to God for God's daily grace upon us. And now offer whatever that we are going through right now. Our burdens or the heaviness of our heart or whatever may be the struggles of our personal life or any kind of brokenness in our families. If there is anything that's really concerning your life or your family, offer at the foot of Jesus this moment. Remember all the members of your families. Take their names wherever they are. Let us consecrate the totality of our life and family at the foot of the cross and prepare ourselves to do the surrender prayer. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me and the powers of evil coming against me today. Help me to live according to your holy will. Fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind, my heart and my body. You sit for your eternal glory. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me. Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. Let us read God's word. Gospel of Mark chapter 11 verse 21 and 22. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly I tell you, if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, and if you do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will come to pass, it will be done for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear loving children of God, we know the incident. We have read Gospel of Mark chapter 11, particularly when they were passing by and the Peter, the disciples remembered Jesus cursed this fig tree and that is completely withered away. So Jesus, in a way, encouraging them, the disciples, by sharing. When I made that prayer, I made the prayer with the full faith and trust in my father. I made this prayer with a lot of trust in my father. And Jesus reminds us, whenever you make your prayers, do this prayer or do your prayer with the full of your heart. Do your prayer with a lot of strength and faith. 
your faith in God. Sisters and brothers, check our own personal prayers or prayers that we make. How strong faith we have or do we possess when we make prayers? Our courage, our trust, and our, our strength is in God. So whenever we make prayers, make sure we do this with full trust and commitment in God. Otherwise, what happens? When I, when I pray and if I have doubt, it is very clearly written for the doubter being double-minded, unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Being a doubter, I will be double-minded, unstable in every way, must not expect to receive anything from God. So Jesus, Jesus teaching us or he taught us already that whatever the prayer when we make, make it with full of trust and courage and confidence in God. This will be yours. <clears throat> Thank you, Father, for this help. A humble prayer, enlighten a mind with the truth. Inflame a heart with your love. Enrich a life with more and more service. Lord, bless us with your wisdom. We pray, help us to practice genuine love, which unites everyone together in Christ Jesus. Give us this day the grace to live. Now as you intend, dear God, to smile, even when our burdens seem heavy, our hearts seem broken, let us be charitable and humble in humiliation and in all our inconveniences. Above all, O merciful Father, let us suffer without regret for your holy will. Amen. Sisters and brothers, <clears throat> this is the moment we offer our nothingness, our vulnerabilities. We offer our repeated sins and bad habits at the foot of the cross. And let's pray together for God's deliverance. Son of God came to the world to destroy evil and the works of devil. I've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the world, nothing shall harm you. They have conquered evil by the blood of the Lamb. I have come so that you may have life, life in abundance. I, your servant, exercising the priestly ministry in the most holy name of Jesus, asking God's deliverance upon his children right now. Father God, we believe and profess that you are all-powerful and almighty God. You always listen to the prayers of your children. We surrender the totality of our life today, asking your healing hand upon our body and soul. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. All the evil powers that troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of Christ. Let those evil powers move into the foot of the cross of Jesus of Nazareth. Never come back to us again. I'm the child of the Father. I'm the body of Jesus Christ. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. I belong to heaven. Evil, you have no right and authority over me. Amen. Sisters and brothers, <coughs> I'm sorry. Let us pray together. Peace in the world. Peace in our own hearts and in our own families in the, at the neighborhood. And whoever we meet today, this moment, 
Let's wish and pray the peace of Christ overshadow us for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let's remember and pray for all the departed members of our families and all the souls in purgatory. May the souls of the faithful depart through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you, save souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Let's, let's remember people who are from our own families, maybe our friend circle, people who are maybe at the college, at, our, at the workplace, our colleagues, who are away from God, away from sacraments. And those who reject and deny God publicly, those who speak all kinds of rubbish about the church and the people of God, let's pray for them instead of cursing or condemning, instead of criticizing, let's just ask God's mercy, Lord, have mercy on them. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as the fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Let us claim some 91 assurance of God's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Make me a channel of your grace. We pray, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts. Keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven. There I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Michael, guard and protect us. Guardian angels, guard us. <clears throat> we pray together the prayer, Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Make my heart like unto thine. Sisters and brothers, let's offer all our prayer intentions. Especially we are praying for all the cancer patients today. If you know some of them, if you are, or if you know some of them, take their names. And we are asking God's blessings and healings upon them. And whatever the enlightenment that you are receiving right now, if you experience that darkness is moving away and you're receiving the grace and the enlightenment from God, give glory to God. Offer all your intentions. People who are lonely today, people who are disappointed and sad today, people who are worried about the teenagers, people who are worried about their uh, children, broken relationships, all the cancer patients, childless couple, those students who are writing and giving exams, those who are waiting for interviews, those who are doing treatments, those who are in the hospital right now, those who are on their deathbed now, and those who are really crying at this moment with a lot of pain, all the cancer patients and heart patients, offer all your personal intentions, Lord, I'm not worthy of you, but in the abundance of your love and mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, today's our Bible reading, Gospel of Mark, chapter 12. I'm sure that you follow reading Bible. That is one of the powerful weapons that we have, reading Bible. I, I, with all my love and respect, I want to share it again. Read Bible, today's reading, Gospel of Mark, chapter 12. And thank you for praying for us. And I'm 
remembering all your intentions, whatever the emails, whatever the uh, petitions, prayer requests in the YouTube, your intentions and your personal request will be offered all these days during Mass and Holy Mass. So uh, keep good. And if this is helping you, this prayer service, share with more and more people. Use all your social media and spread the prayer service.